With the rise of overlanding and van life adventures, a lot of people are now investigating portable refrigeration. We're gonna talk about a few of the things that you might wanna consider when you're looking at a portable refrigerator or battery system to keep it running in the wilds. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Today I have the Dometic CFF40. No, oh, I did. It's not 30, 35. Boop. Today I have the Dometic CFF35 and the PLB40, which is the battery that charges it. These are both pretty new to the market, but they're popular and should be on the list for anyone shopping for this kind of cooler. These are obviously a lot more expensive than a traditional cooler, so you might have a lot of questions before you jump into this big purchase. We're gonna walk you through a few major questions right now. So question number one, is this better than a cooler? It's different than a cooler, but it gives you a few benefits that you won't have with a traditional cooler. Because it runs off of electricity and off of your car, you can conceivably have this running forever. You don't need to go to a gas station and get more ice after a week or a month even, as long as you keep this running and keep your battery charged. Without ice, you get a lot more internal storage space. The brand claims 60% more versus a cooler that would require a mix of ice and contents. Beyond that, you don't have to clean it up. You don't get water in your cooler. You're not gonna have as many messy things. And you can turn this down to freezing or below if you wanna freeze stuff in the field or bring ice cream with you or other similar frozen products. Question number two, do you need to plug it in? Yes, you do. You have to plug this into some kind of a battery in the field. This could be your car. It could be a portable battery source like this. While we're on the topic, these two products are sold separately. This does not come with a battery built in. If you don't buy a battery, you're either gonna have to buy one somewhere else or power off of your car. Question number three, is it durable? The answer is yes. However, it's not waterproof. You can throw this in the back of your pickup, drag it around, let it bounce around, and even get some water on it. But having spoken with the medic, you won't want to put this in a raft and submerge it, submerge it in a river. It feels rugged, it feels strong, and these are meant to be used outdoors in rugged circumstances. If you're concerned about bear proofing, this is not a bear proof cooler. This is definitely something that needs to go in the cab of your vehicle and stay out of harm's way in that sense, but it's tough. It's meant for outside use. Question four, how long does it run for? Well, that question has a lot of variables. It depends on how hot it is outside, how cold you keep the cooler, and what's in it, as well as what battery you're using to charge it. We've seen it run between a day and a half and three days. Given right now, it's about 80 degrees in this room that is not air conditioned, and we've kept this at 35 degrees overnight. We've had it, we're down to about 25% battery power left here in a little over a day. We're guessing this would be dead by a day and a half to two days. If you're running this off your car battery, most of these have a built-in safety mechanism that shuts it off so that you can continue to start your car without killing the battery. That said, check out your specific model to find out if it has this because it varies across the industry. The Dometic CFF35 does have a built-in safety feature to turn it off if your battery's getting low. Question five, is it loud? No. This thing's maybe running right now and it's very quiet. You barely hear it. Question six, what else can the battery do? Well, this can do a lot of the things that any portable battery can do. You can plug it into 12 volt products such as phones. Uh, you could run an air compressor on it. Anything that you would plug into the cigarette lighter style adapter in your vehicle, you can do off of this. And it also has two USB ports does not have an inverter, so you can't plug in 120 current like you would from a household current. It does have solar charging capacity, so you can plug your solar, char solar panels into this battery, charge them up while you're not using it. You can also charge it while you're driving, and when you're driving, it will also run this. And my dog is being a prick. As awesome as this product is, it's probably not for someone who just needs a cooler to go down to the park for the weekend or for an afternoon. It's definitely overkill if you just need to keep a six pack cold while you go to a ball game. 
This model, the Dometic CFF35, costs about 750 bucks from various retailers. The PLB40, this battery system, costs about $850. That's a significant investment, but both are very nice, high quality products. The Dometic line gets much more expensive than that if you go up into their higher end category of products up to about the $1,500 range for larger refrigerators. Again, there are a lot of reasons to pick up a cooler like this if you spend a lot of time on the road. It's a great choice. It's very popular by the, for those who own one. It's expensive and it's not for everyone, but if you find yourself on the road all the time, this is something you may want to consider. Don't forget to like, like it over there, like it over there. I'm gonna get myself a beer because it's five o'clock, so 